You're watching In Your Interest here on News 9 Live. I'm Krishna Kumar. And the big question we're asking on the show now is, is it the end of the road for sovereign gold bonds or SGBs? Now, according to a source-based report by CNBC TV 18, the government may not sell any more sovereign gold bonds because it's a quote-unquote expensive and complex instrument. The Reserve Bank of India, bear in mind, teamed up with the government of India and launched the sovereign gold bond or SGB scheme back in the year 2015. SGBs were primarily introduced with the aim of curbing India's gold obsession by cutting down on gold imports and helping control the growing current account deficit and consequently give the economy a little boost. Instead of buying physical gold, you'd be buying a bond that's tied to gold prices. On top of that, you'd earn a fixed interest every year. If you hold on to the bond for eight years, any returns you would make would be completely tax exempt. That's the advantage of SGBs. These bonds also moved in sync with the price of gold, just like the gold jewelry you would buy. And their issue price was based on the average closing price of the highest purity 999 gold for the last three business days before the subscription. Now, that's the reason why SGBs always reflect current market prices for gold. For investors, it gave the option of putting money in gold without worrying about the storage and security aspects of physical gold. And also, they get to earn a steady 2.5% interest every year on top of that. As for the government, it gets to raise money at a lower interest rate as compared to regular government bonds. And the SGB scheme did work initially for both the investors and the government. SGBs are great, bear in mind, when gold prices stay flat or rise slowly. But if gold prices shoot up, the government will have to pay out way more than what it expected initially. And that's exactly what happened. Between 2015 and 2024, gold prices in India have surged by a whopping 180%, which meant that investors not only got a fixed annual interest, but also had the value of their SGBs go through the roof. Since the year 2015, the RBI has issued 67 tranches of sovereign gold bonds, and investors have pumped in over 72,000 crore rupees. Four of those gold bond issues have fully matured and the money has been paid back to those who bought the bonds and RBI data on the four bonds that have matured so far suggests that sovereign gold bonds have more than doubled investor returns over its eight year tenure. The last SGB was announced back in February at around 6,263 rupees per gram and gold prices are currently over 7,000 rupees. According to the latest budget documents, the government now owes investors 85,000 crore rupees, a figure that has gone up nearly nine times from the less than 10,000 crores at the end of March 2020. Apart from all the financial strain that the SGBs are causing, they've also not served the purpose for which they were launched. Despite the runaway success of SGBs, gold imports continue to surge unabated. Now, World Gold Council data says that the first half of the year, gold imports have surged by 16%. Not surprisingly, the government and the RBI don't see a reason to continue with sovereign gold bonds anymore. We have my colleague uh, Suyash Maheshwari now with us in the studio. Suyash, uh, I mean, it's cut and dry for the government, isn't it? The more bond go, sovereign gold bonds it issues, the more money it has to pay back to investors. And already the bill is racked up to 85,000 crore rupees. Certainly, Krishna, and I completely agree with you. You know, the sources have claimed that uh, the SGBs, the sovereign gold bonds are complex and expensive. I think we need to focus on the expensive part of this claim coming from the sources. I mean, as you rightly pointed out, they are they owe 85,000 crore to investors. Now, let's just dial back a little and see how investors actually make money from sovereign gold bonds. So, apart from the capital appreciation, which, uh, you know, the profits that you make from gold prices going up, you also earn interest rates on SGBs of about 2.5% per annum. Uh, so, there are two benefits. One, capital appreciation, and the second is, of course, interest, which... Uh, does not happen for a physical for the physical metal the gold prices they are non interest bearing assets but SGBs they offer interest rates so two benefits there third benefit of course that you don't have to store gold in your houses you don't have to worry about getting robbed it's just a paper that uh, gives you ownership of gold so I think for investors I think that could be a big loss yeah big loss for investors who the first four sovereign gold bond investors have doubled their returns. We have Kunal Shah, Head of Commodities Research at Nirmal Bang, now joining us live on the broadcast. Kunal, thank you so much for taking time out. 
simple question this was a seem, this is, seems like a boon for investors but not quite that for for the government and looks like you know the boon is going to be taken away from the investors by the government yeah it's been a boon for investors like you rightly pointed out people have made a tremendous amount of return i remember the early times when the sgb trans was, was trading at 36 37000 rupees and right now gold prices are at 72000 rupees and in fact you also have to consider that we've seen a 9% uh, duty reduction in spite of that gold prices are still trading in 72000 rupees so tremendous uh, return uh, investors have got in gold uh, and especially in sgbs apart from the return the, what they've got they've got 2 and 1/2% interest so yes uh, the the reason why government started is that the government didn't want investment demand of uh, gold to really bother our currency and uh, uh, the overall trade side because uh, india's gold import has been soaring from years so the ideology was to do the development with the money and also uh, to curb the gold imports so uh, so far none of them has worked in fact uh, gold imports have have been rising and now uh, with the duty reduction it's going to rise exponentially going forward and uh, as far as other factor is concerned you have not seen any abatement in the trade flows so uh, i think uh, the kind of returns what investors got was great but the government uh, had to pay more i don't know what they do with it whether they hedge it on the international platform or with some investment banks they must be doing some or the other thing but they don't reveal it if so if they are doing hedging then i don't think so the losses will be big but if they are not hedging or anything like that then uh, i think it's it's not going to be a good news for government right kunal so do you think at this stage it's all over you know would you believe if the if the if soon enough we get a report saying that the government has and the rbi has decided to not sell any more uh, sgbs uh well uh, i think uh, it all depends upon uh, what what is the road forward so the the ideology which they had that they want to curb the investment demand uh, by offering this kind of product and uh, with the money what they are getting they can use it for the development or whatever so on one side if you see indian central banks also is been on a buying spree of gold uh, they have been accumulating gold for quite a for some time and i am expecting you know in next 3 uh, to 5 years india when we are uh, trading in ruble when we are trading in uh, malaysian uh, currency when we are trading in uh, dirham with the other trader so we are trading in, in our own currency or we are also moving away from dollar and trading with other partners in their own and our currency so in this kind of scenario uh, indian government will need to have more and more amount of gold in their reserve so more diversification expected so i am not expecting that this product will vanish this product will stay here and uh, uh, the tranches the amount the intensity of the tranches the amount of uh, number of sovereign gold bond which have, which have been issued that may go down but so far there is no announcement uh, by rbi or any right. other body that right. sgb is going to be there so i am still as hopeful and i am expecting this is here to stay but maybe the tranches okay. may go down okay okay we'll have to wait and watch what happens with sovereign gold bonds but for now uh, kunal cha of uh, nirmal bank thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on in your Happy interest you. and with that we completely run out of time here thank you soyash for being with us as well with that uh, we wrap things up on this edition of in your interest thank you so much for watching this is krishna kumar signing off